this is how I made my first $10,000 as a web developer without working a full-time job. What's up, you guys? Clean here. Welcome back to the channel, CoCommerce. And like I said in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the ways you can earn money as a developer and how I personally earned more than $10,000 working as a developer without actually working a full-time job and, and receiving a W-2 here if you're in the U.S. So there are literally thousands of possibilities and opportunities to earn money as a web developer. And if you just take a minute and get creative, I'm sure that you can think of some on your own. The truth is that getting hired as a full-time developer and writing code and contributing to a larger project, a larger code base on a team of developers is something that's hard to do. Especially now at the time that I am recording this video, it seems that we are entering a bit of a recession, especially in the technology space. I see a lot of larger tech companies, uh, they're starting to lay off some people, you know, thousands of layoffs are happening as developers. And you know, that can be kind of a scary thing if you are just entering your career or just trying to start a career as a developer. But don't let that deter you if you are learning to code. If you want to become a developer, don't let that hold you back, especially if you've already started coding. Don't let that hold you back from applying and learning new skills as a developer. Rather than holding you back, this should really actually motivate you to help you work harder and ultimately craft more skills and strengthen your portfolio and your skill set as developer. And also there are many other ways to earn money as a developer outside of working a formal nine to five job and receiving a W2 pay stub if you're located here in the US. But leave me a comment down below some of the ways you've made money as a developer. If any, I'd love to hear what you have done to make money as a developer. So the first $10,000 that I made as a developer was not writing JavaScript. I did not have a full-time job coding, writing JavaScript, writing Python, writing SQL, none of that. My first $10,000 actually came from writing HTML and quite a bit of CSS. That's right, if you know HTML and CSS, then you can do what I did and start earning money as a developer. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. There is a fair amount of competition, but I know this works for a 100% fact. This is my story and this is 100% what I did. I am talking about freelancing. And if you know HTML and CSS, then that is all you need to know in order to get started freelancing as developer and start making money. When I was first starting out, just starting to learn to code, I started working with HTML and CSS. I didn't even touch JavaScript or for a couple of years. In fact, PHP was the actual first programming language I started using prior to JavaScript. You certainly don't have to know PHP. I'm not saying you have to know PHP in order to do this. It's just, I picked it up for a specific project that I was working on. In fact, I only used it for a very short while, 90%. In fact, I would say 95% of what I was writing was just HTML and styling with CSS. I've talked about freelancing a little bit in the past and you know, I get a lot of people say, yeah, it's but it's super saturated and I get it, dude, it, it is, but the key to making money as a freelancer is to really niche down. If you wanna play in the NBA, you're not gonna say, oh, hey, I play sports, or you're not gonna say, I play basketball. You're gonna give your, you're gonna say, hey, I'm a left guard and I can dray three pointers all day long, I don't miss. My point is that you really have to niche down. So grab a web development course down there. I have some in the links below. It is a uh, affiliate link, so it means I do receive a small commission if you sign up or if you purchase one, but the Zero to Mastery is a really, really great course, the Complete Web Developer Course 2023. It's a really great course and it'll teach you everything you need to know to get started as a developer and start earning money. And truth be told, what they teach you in that course is actually more than what you need to know to start earning money as a developer. Not only is it gonna teach you HTML and CSS, it's also gonna go over JavaScript, it's gonna go over React, Redux for state management, Node.js, machine learning, and more. But all you need to get started, like I said, I'm trying to drill this into your head, all you need to get started is HTML and CSS. So if you lock down one of those courses below or even follow some tutorials on YouTube, that, that's going to be enough to, for you to get a good understanding of the basics so you can start freelancing in a niche down area. What niche you choose is ultimately up to you. For me personally, I chose e-commerce and this is crazy because it actually led to me getting a full-time job as a developer and an e-commerce store. I started out working on Fiverr, working on Upwork, and I, I know that it is competitive. Yes, I'm not saying it's not. And there's other ways to get business as well. I would build custom stores on the Shopify platform, on the big commerce platform, on WooCommerce, which is based on WordPress, and a few other platforms that aren't really around anymore. But I would say, honestly, more than 90% of what I wrote on a day-to-day -day basis was 
just HTML and CSS. I earned over $10,000 as a freelance developer before writing a single line of JavaScript or PHP code. And guys, you don't have to be an expert to, to do this. As long as you complete one of the courses below, or at least if you feel comfortable writing HTML and CSS, then that is more than enough to get started earning money as a developer. Furthermore, if you're gonna start doing some contract work on Shopify, on BigCommerce, with you know WooCommerce, on WordPress, or any other sites, I would suggest picking up a cheap course on Udemy, or maybe just watching a few YouTube tutorials on how their templating language works. For example, um, Shopify uses a templating language called Liquid, and it'd really be a good idea to understand how that works and how the dashboards of uh, these various e-commerce platforms work. And again, you could pick up a course on Udemy for 10 to 15 bucks, or you could learn this 100% for free on YouTube. Now you're probably not gonna make six figures doing this and you know, being a freelance developer, especially just starting out, and it's going to be a little bit of a grind, but it is 100% possible. And guys, in addition to learning how to code and getting more comfortable with the basics of web development, learning HTML and CSS, you guys, this is also gonna build your communication skills and how you talk to and relate to clients. Plus you guys, this is gonna give you a chance to build up your portfolio, which can be pretty important if you're trying to get your first job as a developer. So if you're just starting out, then pick up a course down in the comments below. Like I said, I do have a web development course down there or you know, get comfortable with writing HTML and CSS at least. Get comfortable with uh, a templating language such as Liquid or, or a Shopify, BigCommerce, whichever one you choose and start building out some test stores and start doing some freelancing. You might have to charge a little bit lower when you just started out. For example, you might, you might charge a hundred bucks to build a site, which isn't that great. But you guys, if you're learning a new skill and you can get somebody to pay you a hundred bucks to build them a project that's beneficial for them, that's beneficial for you, you're learning skills and you're making money. You guys, that's the best way to learn as a developer in my opinion. And you guys, if you're interested in other ways to make money as a developer, as a new developer, uh, while you're still learning how to code and without working a nine to five job, then I'll put up some links right here. So make sure to watch one of those videos. And thanks for watching you guys, smash the like button and I'll see you on the next one. Leave me some comments down below on some of the ways you've earned money as a developer without working a nine to five job. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.